Before we start about the techniques, I want to talk about glaze thickness. That glaze is too thin. You can see many of the wrinkles and all the details of the finger and kind of see the skin coming through. This one is just right. You can see some of the big wrinkles and some of the nail bed. And this glaze is too thick. You can't see any of the details. It covers everything. Okay, now before we start the techniques, we want to prepare our pieces. You want to wax the bottom of the piece, in this case tiles, and this is wherever it it's going to touch the kiln shelf. You want to be very careful because glaze will not stick wherever there is wax. So you want to make sure that it doesn't get where you don't want it to be. You want to wipe off the extra wax so that when you dip it in the glaze, it doesn't come into the bucket. Now we're going to start wax resist. First, you want to mix up the glaze and check its thickness. Good. Now, step two, you're going to dip the piece in the glaze for four to five seconds. Check that it's all covered. Now you want to clean the extra glaze off the bottom of the piece. Now step four, you want to use wax to brush on your design. This is done over the glaze that you already put on the tile. You can do bigger areas, you can do line work, it's up to you what your pattern is or your design that you'd like to do. Now I'm going to, I let the glaze sit or the wax dry for a little bit and now I'm going to brush on the second glaze over the piece. Glaze will not stick where the wax is, so this is how you get your design. You can also use different colored glazes in this. So I'm going to use a second glaze and paint over a different section of it. I'm going to do a second layer just to make sure that the glaze over top is thick enough. Now this is step six. You want to clean off the wax with a sea sponge. This is the most difficult part of the process. And you want to make sure that you're gentle and you clean your sponge often. I'm not putting that much pressure. I'm just lightly taking the sponge and going over the areas that are waxed. I scrubbed too hard at that point, so I just retouched and finalized it. Okay, so let's go to the next technique, which is inlay. Step one, you want to mix the glaze and check the thickness. Step two, you want to dip your piece into the glaze for four to five seconds. Step three, you want to wax the entire surface of your glaze piece. And after you've waxed the whole thing, you want to give it a good time, maybe an hour, even a whole day, so that the wax dries enough so that the glaze will not stick later on. Okay, now this is some time afterwards once I let the uh, wax dry some. And this is step four. You want to use your needle tool to scratch down all the way down to the clay. This is the way that you make your lines for your design. Step five, you want to use a dry, stiff brush to clean off the glaze dust. This is a way for you to really clearly be able to see your design, and it gets all the extra dust off. Okay, step six, 
you're going to want to brush your second glaze into those scratch lines. Now remember, the whole surface is waxed, so the only part that isn't waxed at this point are those little lines that you scratch all the way through to the clay. Step seven, you're going to clean the glaze off the wax. This is just like you do with the other technique. So you want to be very careful that you do not press too hard and that you also clean your sponge often. Be very, very gentle. If you scrub too hard, you'll start taking off the wax and the white glaze underneath. So that is finished and now we're going to go to our next technique which is masking. The first thing you want to do is to cover and apply masking tape to the entire surface of your piece. I'm trimming it right now just to get the edges kind of clean. You don't have to do that. Step two, you're going to use your X-Acto knife to cut out the shapes or your design that you want. In this case, I'm cutting and also peeling at the same time. And you also want to remember that you can, if you want, you can also draw in your design first. I'm freehanding it, but if you really want to draw in your design, you can do that with either a Sharpie, a pen, or whatever you need. So you can see here that I'm continuing to cut and then actually peel the masking tape, which is step three, peel the, off the tape. Okay, so now step four, you're gonna mix and glaze, mix the glaze and check its thickness. All right. Good. Now you're going to take your tile which has the masking tape designs on it and dip it into the glaze for four to five seconds. That's step five. Okay, so now when it's out, you're going to wax the entire surface of the piece and this is step six. The wax is basically sticking to where the glaze is and then where the tape is, it's just kind of covering it. So you want to let this dry for a few minutes. Make sure you clean off, step seven is make sure you clean off the extra wax because you don't want it messy. And if you peel that off and there's a lot of wax, it might get where the, t where the clay is underneath the tape. So now step eight, you want to carefully peel off the tape. This exposes the clay underneath. So those are the areas that the glaze is going to stick to once you dip it again. Step seven, you want to use a dry stiff brush to clean the glaze off because this will give you the really crisp lines that you're looking for. Step 10, you want to dip your piece into the second glaze for four to five seconds, the same amount you would at the beginning. Good. And so now the final step, step 11, you want to use a sponge to wipe off the extra glaze. And remember, you want to be very gentle and careful, just like any other other times that you're trying to wipe off the extra glaze. You want to also clean your sponge often. You see, I only wipe a little bit, and then I clean it off. Wipe a little bit, clean it off. Wipe a little bit, clean it off. Okay? So see how frequently I do that? That is very, very important. Okay, so those are the three glazing techniques. Remember to have fun and work hard.